Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. If I say monster perch through the ice, what destination do you think of? Well, if you're like me, you probably think Devil's Lake, North Dakota. On this week's show, pro staffers Anna, Nicole, and I get a chance to meet up with our old buddy, Kurt Reef from PK Lures. We're gonna be doing a little product testing on their new tungsten series of PK Predator spoons. We're gonna see how they work with some of the monster perch that call Devil's Lake home. Hey, how's it going, girls? Good. Hi. I'm here yeah. to get some North Dakota licenses. Fishing license. All right. Can I see some ID? You bet. Ever had North Dakota fishing license before? Every year. Every year. Okay. <laughs> that makes it easy for us. out of the blue. A little dinky walleye. Look at this little guy. <laughs> oh, here we go. oh no, I missed it. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Market? Yeah, I missed it though. Classic. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this perch. Devil's Lake Gold. He was sitting right at the bottom and then I pulled up and he just chased and hammered it. I am using um, a little PK spoon with a blade and a chartreuse. That seemed to be the ticket for him. Uh, we've got the PK Predator. It's uh, one of our most popular products. It's very effective on panfish and crappie, walleye. Um, We've got it in eight different colors. This year we added a PK Predator in like the Tungsten. Um, it's a little smaller profile. We've got a gold blade on it. The white red dot glow is one of the most popular colors. White seems to be very effective whether you're fishing Minnesota, Wisconsin, Dakotas. Um, we added some other colors like yellows and greens. Right now we're up in Devil's Lake. Uh, seems to be really effective with uh, the lime green. is really good today. We got the pink pearl. Um, gold is always a hit up here. Um, next year we're coming out with the PK Predator and tongues in, in gold just for this area. Um, it's got a real quick drop. It's got a lot of flash. They were fishing about 26 feet of water. You want to get down to these fish quickly and stay on top of them.
Doesn't seem too big. Another little guy. I'm hitting home runs on little ones today. No, I was up in this area a lot, probably 20 years ago when Devil's Lake first started to like, you know, flood. And mm -hmm. this area we're located now was a lot of like, you know, farmland. There was old, old houses in this area, barns, propane tanks, all kinds of stuff out here. So you had to be very careful when you were out. Coming back here 20 years ago from now, I guess, 20 years back, this place looks a lot different, a lot more water, a lot more places you can go out and fish. Well, and I think that's one of the things that has been unique to Devil's Lake is this, this lake has been literally growing by thousands of acres every single year. Yeah, it is. It might be not a little one. Yep, little guy. It seemed like you got to go through five or six of these small ones to get a decent one. We're in about 28 feet of water right here. And as Kurt mentioned, this is kind of an old channel that goes through here before the lake flooded, before the lake levels rose. This was probably nothing more than just a creek here. And now it's part of the lake. And what's unique about this area is we're actually getting some current that's flowing through here. Uh, we've got a big part of Devil's Lake out here. We've got another big bay behind us. And I think what's happening is, you know, this natural action is pushing some of this water in between. And uh, in this narrow spot, we actually end up with a little bit of, uh, of current. Yeah, it's kind of odd. I would think for being up in Devil's Lake, a big body of water, which is a lake, there's really no water coming in other than what's running off. That's right, that's right. Yeah, you wouldn't expect current in a body of water like this, would you? Another smaller one. They can only get bigger. Now, there's also been a lot of chatter the last couple of years here on Devil's Lake about the walleye fishing. So tell us a little bit about what you've experienced with walleyes here. I got to experience Devil's Lake for the first time in probably 15 years last summer. I fished the NWT as an amateur and uh, we got into some nice shallow weed walleyes up around Stump Lake. We were basically taking a spinach jig, tipping that with the white plastic and casting it into five, six feet of water, pulling out these 28 inch walleyes. No I'm kidding. Had... Not the traditional method to fish walleyes. I'm not used it? to fishing that way. I've become a big fan of it, pitching jigs. Well, and that's one of the things that's unique about Devil's Lake is, you know, really there's multi-species fishery. Uh, it's famous for big perch, but, you know, as I've said, the walleye fishing has really been coming on the last few years. Phenomenal white bass, too. A lot of people forget about the white bass that are in this body of water. Fun to catch. Uh, we had an opportunity a couple years ago to come up with their buddy Tanner Cherney at Devil's Lake Convention Visitors Bureau and Susie Kenner. We got out in the boat and we got a chance to get on some of those white bass, and they're a ton of fun to catch. Yeah. If you come up here any time from like June, July, August, every shoreline around Devil's Lake has got littered with, with people fishing for white bass offshore. And I think they're doing pretty well because there's a lot of people doing it. Got one coming up right now. Look at there we go. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a real big fish, but. Sometimes they can surprise you. You get to the top of the hole and end up a whole lot bigger. We get, look at that. You know, it's funny how these walleyes are mixed right in with the perch. You get a perch right there and we got a walleye in the next one right here. Now I've got the PK Predator in tungsten on in kind of a green color, a little different color than what Kurt's using. And I think it's important, you know, when you're fishing in such close quarters like we are today, is just vary it up a little bit and give them a little different offering. If you're interested in making the trip here to Devil's Lake, North Dakota, all the information for the Devil's Lake Convention and Visitors Bureau is right on the screen. Please give them a call, check them out on the web. There's all kinds of accommodations, great food here, great resorts, all kinds of friendly people ready to help you out on your fishing adventure here in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Promotional consideration provided for Outdoor Bound TV by Fireside Inn & Suites. 
your home away from home in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master. Get the big ones. Yeah. Well, yeah, we've we've seemed to have to weed through a few of the small ones to find those big jumbos, don't mm -hmm. we? Nope. I hear a bunch more laughing over in the other otter. I think they're at it again. <laughs> oh, there we go. Feels like a nicer perch that we got on. We've been using these smaller PK spoons, these predators, and the perch have just been loving them. It's probably, oh, here we go. We get, we're getting into some more sizable fish, a little bit larger. We've gotten into some 14s already today, so um, these fish are just really coming in and loving these PK spoons. Missed them. That was a nice bite. Still okay. down there. Oh, I still got him. Boy, I'm just not reeling. Good old inline reel. Got him! <laughs> this one's small. This is not a jumbo. Anna. <laughs> Why does mine look compared to yours? That's... Wow, yours could eat mine for breakfast. <laughs> one day you'll be this size. <laughs> Coming hot. There he is. You, I saw him hit you. <laughs> That's my better one today. Yeah, that feels pretty good, huh? That's a better fish. Is it? Oh, it's a walleye. Oh, is that what it is? Looks like it was pumping pretty good. You can see them on the mark, them come right off the bottom. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. You know what? They're still fun to catch. I mean, it's not a keeper walleye, but you see them come up off the bottom and hit it. It's a lot of fun. If you're gonna sit out here in the cold, you might as well catch something, right? No, exactly. it's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Nice little eater. Cool. I thought we had a monster perch on. <laughs> oh, there we go. This feels like a really nice fish. We have a big storm front coming in right now and the wind is picking up a little bit outside and we are getting into some larger, oh my gosh, look at the size of this Devil's Lake <laughs> perch. This is outrageous. These fish are just coming in off the bottom and they are just zooming up and just slamming our PK spoon. So I think with this front coming in, these fish are just getting hungry and really following into that weather pattern because uh, these are the kind of fish that we came up here for. So this is, uh, this is incredible. This is an incredible fishery for these perch. <laughs> bigger than my hand. Ooh, nice. You came up there all of a sudden, didn't you? A little better fish here. Is that good? No walleye. <laughs> That's different. Cheering that it's not a walleye and it's actually a perch, right? Walleye. <laughs> huh. Look at that. We got a solid class of these. Yeah, there is. Probably too a... small to be an eater, but we got a good up, up and coming class of fish on Devil's Lake. No doubt about that. You know, we've really seen a lot of those today. Um, so that is very good news that there's a lot of those fish in here. So. That golden jumble perch is very elusive for me today. <laughs> well, North Dakota gold, no doubt about it. I think. Uh, 
I hate to say it, but the girls are kind of outfished us today. They've uh, <laughs> they put a number of really good perch uh, on the ice over in their uh, in their otter. So they are they're laying on the bottom. That's you'll just see it on the chart, just barely off the bottom, and you wouldn't even see it on the. Oh my god, I have oh. one I didn't even know. Nice. It's that light bite. It's light bite, I'll say. Oh, I got another one coming up too, I think. Speedy inline reel here. <laughs> See if we can't double up right now. Yes. How are you doing? Not, not, not oh, a that's giant. Nice. Yeah. But hey, you know, I'll take it. It's a lot of fun. Pulling these fish up from 30 feet, a lot of times if you're reeling fast, you unfortunately blow their air bladder or their eyes. So you have to keep them and cook them, even if that wasn't your original plan. Always something to think about when you're fishing. Um, in those deeper depths. Who knew? Ten years later, two UND grads. <laughs> Would be best fishing buddies. Best fishing buddies. And fishing in North Dakota together. Yeah, this is like, yeah. Wow, I didn't think of it that way. Full circle. It does come full circle. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See my jumble. <laughs> This is a jumbo. This is perch is a good one. I can see him coming up on the graph, so something's going on there. Don't bump off. What do we got? Walleye. Another walleye, huh? <laughs> I give up. I got caught about 10 of these today. <laughs> Cookie cutters, though. Well, it's a little bit bigger than your last one. <laughs> You know, it is kind of funny that we can be sitting here and, and we're pulling in primarily walleyes. Well, I'm sorry, you're pulling in primarily walleyes. And uh, Nicole and Anna are probably 30 yards from us in the other otter and they're dominating with perch. So, and we're really same depth, same everything. So I well, think it's, it's just kind of luck of the draw. Yeah. Here we go. Got it. Yes. Way to go. Sorry, I hit you really hard. <laughs> you didn't hit me that hard. It doesn't feel quite as big, but it still feels it's got like a it's nice got bend a, on that a little bit of shoulders. We'll see. Oh, yeah. We got another nice. Look at you go. Oh, I can't get him out of here. We got another nice Devil's Lake <laughs> gold jumbo perch right on that PK lure. We got one down there. Got some weight to it. Another walleye. Glad I seen him because I would have thought it was a perch if I lost him. Got him. It's a nice one. Just working them right off the bottom. Thinking it's a perch. Doesn't feel like a walleye fight. Yep. We're gonna let him go. Oh, I finally got this <laughs> perch that has been harassing my bait. Nice. I don't think he's got any size to him. He doesn't, but at least now I know. Bite is definitely big enough. Yeah. <laughs> The bite has turned on for both large and small perch. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and PK Lures. Did you get there him? we go. Yeah, good deal. I'm guessing it's a walleye. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> You're kind of the walleye expert today. <laughs> there was no nibble. Yeah, not a walleye. Kind of become the walleye whisperer out of this hole. They're anyway. getting smaller though. <laughs>
Uh, I think, you know, we've certainly managed to find some pretty good perch, and you've been managing to find plenty of walleyes there. So. Yeah, they're talking 60-mile-an-hour <laughs> wind, which is very uncommon for this area. So right. um, it was either going to be one of the days we were going to either make it or break it, that's and right. uh, I think we, we did fairly well compared to what I'm hearing from a lot of other people right yeah, now. That's right. Pretty tough conditions, no doubt about it. So, well, hey, Kurt, I appreciate you taking us out here in Devil's Lake. Thanks a lot for, uh, for making the trip with us. We appreciate it. And everyone, we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Venom Outdoors and Vulture Systems. Oon, <laughs> no, I missed him. We won't use that for filming. I wonder how many missed hook sets I have on, on camera. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Cold Nation Outdoors and Acme Tackle.